So these big movie producers came to me and said, we want you to write a rom-com about a gay couple. A straight guy might even like and watch with his girlfriend. Gay guys are my jam. Awesome. We just want a movie that shows the world that gay relationships and straight relationships are the same. Love is love is love. I said, love is love is love. No, it's not. That is bullshit. Our sex lives are different. Took this just for you, bro. Did he block me? Our relationships are different. This is Bisexual Awareness Week, and no one has acknowledged it! Lesbian History Month was in March! Nobody said a goddamn thing! Of course! Lesbians get a month, and we get a week. I don't want any Hollywood bullshit. No scenes where two guys are about to hook up, and all of a sudden the camera conveniently pulls away. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna go. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. It was lovely. Bros is the first major studio film to feature an all LGBT principal cast playing heterosexual roles and of course gay roles. In the gay rom-com, two men with commitment problems attempt a relationship. Luke McFarlane, known for starring in several Hallmark movies and Brothers and Sisters, stars alongside Billy Eichner. Eichner co-wrote and produced Bros. First, I want to say that I love the casting for the film. During the weekend, T.S. Madison, who appears in Bros, made an announcement that the trailer would be released today. I woke up early to watch it. T.S. Madison has a principal role. Others who appear in the film include Owen Yang from Saturday Night Live and the upcoming film Fire Island, Guillermo Diaz, known for Scandal, and Britney's I Wanna Go music video, Simone, the season 13 winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, legendary Broadway actor Harvey Firestein, Dot Marie Jones, known from Glee, Miss Lawrence, known for the United States vs. Billie Holiday, Peter Kim, known for the 40-year-old version, and Queer Eye alum Jay Rodriguez. Second, I love that the story is about men with commitment problems attempting to start a relationship after a casual hookup. The story is relatable and gay men will be able to see themselves in the main characters. There are a number of you who refuse to watch films that advertise or endorse gay trauma. This is the film for you. Even though it feels fluffy on the surface, it will tackle serious issues within the LGBT community. In fact, Owen's character closely resembles his character from Fire Island in that he touches upon the intersections of class, body image, and dating. Also, I love that Bros is the first gay rom-com to be released by a major studio and the first major studio-backed film to feature an all LGBT principal cast. It would have been another major first if the director was also gay, but he is straight. And Judd Apatow, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Apatow, is one of the producers and he is also straight. Surprisingly, the film features nudity and sex scenes. I actually thought those would be edited out to appeal to a wider audience. The film is meta and that Billy's character, who is a podcaster, is approached to develop a gay rom-com, but he wants it to be what gay men would expect to see without the Hollywood edit. And bros, we are getting just that. Bros premieres September 30th in theaters only. Thank you for watching this video. In the comment section, let me know if you plan to watch bros in the theaters when it is released and if you don't plan on watching it, let me know why. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, join my channel, like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah. <laughs> How's it supposed to feel?